hello today i'm going to show you how i did this setup the same setup i use in my gold flow scene so the result is pretty similar the only difference is the, the geometry so every time you get a slightly different result but that's it and let's get started so let's start with the modeling let's first take a look in the unit so you one unit is one centimeter centimeter flex play let's create a box just like that right in the middle here okay and I think in my original scene the high is 150 but let's just start with that here you only 20 and here I think 140 let's put one segment here and the poly first let's extrude that yeah we need a little bit more space for the liquid you pour for here from here I think that's enough let's change that create a little bit of the inclination and let's use a chamfer just a little bit it's fine sure okay now let's do topology because I want to use this place and a little a little lot more of geometry now let's put a turbo smooth okay now let's use its place I did its place much higher here let's move the gizmo that's how many here I want to have a border. It's the local. Don't need to be perfect. I think here is fine. We need a map. That's already great. Put some strength. Let's create uh, a cell. Okay, let's open the material editor. Distance here. And let's do chips. Increase a little bit the size. I think that's fine. Let's increase here. It's more or less what I, I use it in my scene. I don't know if, if, if it's, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's getting distorted. Oh, no. I don't. Oh, it's not to get started. This, that's the size. So. I think the size is fine. Over here, I want to change the, this part here on the top. If you use the blur, what's happening? And what's happening? The key, the key. I want a little bit of the not so I don't want that but I think for now I 
Let's move the gizmo a little bit down. That's okay for now. For now, that that's enough. Let's use a relax. Okay, and uh, I'm going to do this in the top. Okay, that's our wall. That's fine. So that's for the the modern modern of the wall. I'll just open here. I like to see this high defined. Let's call it wall. Let's save our file. I'll, uh, I'll come back with the the Phoenix part. Okay, so now for the Phoenix part. Let's get our meter with a with a with a cylinder picture. Let's see from the left here. I think maybe something like that. See that's okay. I did go poly. Select only this polygon and use the uh, asset ten and to I and one here. So you will meet only from this polygon. Okay. Let's put in the center. Create our source here. Pick our cylinder. And let's give me that mustard. It's enough. And uh, I think that's it for the meter. So now let's create the Phoenix container. Liquid grid. Let's keep tight. Keep tight and use the. I know my final resolution will be 0.3. We can already use that number because it will be fast. Let's turn on this. Files for extra margin. First, let's decrease the size here. Left view. Let's put it here. Okay. That's okay. Now let's um, change some settings here. First, you want to choose a place to save your simulation. You can reduce the view to 10. I think we don't need to turn on any of these. And now for the dynamics, reduce to 0.5. We need to just uh, four steps per frame is enough. We need a little bit of viscosity. Here 0.5 and 0.5 to keep the liquid together. And for bigger drops, we need the stick max value. And uh, I think that's it for the statues. There's not too much here. Uh, we need to fix the size of the expansion for the simulator so z plus we don't need nothing as z plus z minus we need i think here and y it's okay 
that's the front row for the X, I think. Just that. That's a defile. I think that's it. I will increase a little bit the timeline. Maybe, I don't know, 600, no, 600. And then, that's okay for now. I'll set the file. Well, uh, I will keep, I will change the, it's the preview. Let's close that. Where is the preview here? External mesh. Turn off the partial preview. Let's save it and I will start the simulation. Oh, I forgot. To. Here we need to put 10 for the polygon D. Save again. Start over again. Let's see. Either I need to reduce that that size, but I think that's okay. So I'll come back when I, I have simulated a little more. So I already have a preview here. Let's take a look. Let's see if this speed it's it's okay. So uh, I think that's fine. So now we need to work with the, in this scene in particular, I use the two things, the input, I don't want similarity man, and the variation, I use this to smooth the mesh, but I reduce a little bit the, increase here the threshold, and together with the, the, the Rendering the five or ten. The five is fine. Let's, let's see if the particle size will be. I think it will be better. Okay. That's another case where we can even increase the resolution, but for me that's enough for the, the scene. And now we can create more emitters. So let's create another editable poly. Select this and use the the geometry, the dash, dash element and clone. Let's move here. I think here's fine. Let's Again, let's try something different with this too, because I want this to big this distance. So let's move over here. And for the liquid, uh, I think the, the liquid need uh, a wall here. So let's create a box. So 30, 1850, so it will be easy to increase here. I don't think this is necessary, but just to keep consistency in the scene of the behavior of the liquid thing. Let's put here. So for this one, And for this one, now we need to change the size of the simulator. Let's increase, encapsulate all of the emitters. Okay, let's save our scene. And okay, I will simulate it again and. I'll come back when we have the result. I uh, stopped the simulation in 35 here and I make a preview already so let's take a look. I use I position the camera like my 
my original scene more or less so that's a nice result nice here and uh, you can change the geometry here you can change the meters um, let's take a look here you can you can change a lot of things the size of the meters I don't know make maybe put some noise you can change you, you could change this inclination here maybe increase a little bit the let's take a look here in the settings maybe you can increase a little bit the viscosity you can increase the resolution for more, de more detail try to play with these values as well so you have a lot of options and uh, I think that's it for this tutorial I hope you like it and see you next time